Everybody's so quick to push, push, push to get you there, but they're not quick to hold you there. I mean, what do you do when you get there? You know, nobody tells you what to do when you get to the top. When you put money and power and fame in the mix, you know, it's a recipe for craziness, disaster, insanity. I've been in this band for more than half my life. It's a lot of all I know. Everything happened so fast. It's been this whirlwind for the last 20 years, and I kind of lost sight of it, and I lost sight of myself, which is very easy to do when you're in a group. You lose yourself, you lose your identity. You are enjoying the moment, enjoying the power, enjoying the women, but that can't last forever, you know? And, and in some ways, I also think that there were opportunities that I, that I probably missed. Many years, our life was eat, sleep, shit, fashion, fashion, fashion. Here we are with the Beck Street Boys. How old are you anyway? 16. And how old are you? 19. And 21. 20. And 20. Yeah, I was a different person 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. I was super naive. I was fearless. We've always had you know, input from the label, and it was kind of more of like their ideas, what they thought would be interesting. This one here, by you know financially putting up the, the money for it, we felt like okay, we can really have uh, you know a, a bit of say so. We used to show up in the studio, and they'd say, you know, "Go in and sing this, and you know try to make it your own." Now it's time for us to to kind of come out. What if this kiss? Was <laughs> I like that stuff. That was dope, dude. That was really good. Hold on, let go. Hold on, and you'll know the help is on its way. You got to call me, and I'm gonna call you back. church, Brian and I got inspired by Tesco, the little store down the street. We decided to cook, cook, cook. I make some mimosas. AJ, don't worry, we got you some sparkling water. I got a little bit of mimosas. Yeah, mimosas. And Brian's taking orange juice. Brian's going to make a specialty of uh, uh, breakfast burrito. Breakfast burrito. Breakfast burrito. London inspired at the Breakfast Burrito. Yes. <laughs> I'll pass it. But, but I mean, we're naive to think we could come in three weeks and find an album. Yeah, I know. Oh, I know. We were optimistic. I don't think we were naive. I never did my years We were optimistic. Well, don't get me wrong. I yeah, knew we were going to come here and we were going to write, write, write. What right, right, right. And how many songs did we have in five years almost? That's what I'm saying. It's not bad. That's, no, I know. It's a I, shot. I, 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 let's I, just I, keep I, heart. I, let's join hands. We're going to have a blessing. Come on. That's good. Really, for real. Come on. That's good. Good blessing. Oh, my God. That was great. Right. That's great. <laughs> oh, dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for the blessings that you blessed us with. Thank you for the circle. Um, we ask that you bless this food to the nourishment of our bodies. And bless this record. How many of you can come from the break? Hey. Let's go, sir. You got the trust me. Here's to uh, number 20. This ride and this journey that we're starting is we're more mature now. We don't just hole up 
in the corner somewhere and, and, and try to sort through it by ourselves. We can lean on each other. We can talk to each other about these things. And now that we're older, we do that. In the past, we didn't. The bond that we have is, is, is just indescribable. It's like family, it's like brothers, it's friends, it's the most amazing relationship. Our personalities, they blend really well. There's something that just can't be explained why it has happened the way that it, that it has. We're still in the same thing, still in the same goals. And we're following our heart, following our intuition. You have to be who you are. You have to be who you are. And if you ever find yourself on the wrong track, being somebody different, um, it's going to catch up to you. This is kind of where um, my life as a singer began. When I come here, or whenever I get on stage, it was a way to get away, it was a way to escape. I'm so thankful you guys are here to show us a little bit. This is where Little Happy was created, the Boom Boom. Gave us first class treatment all the way. We rode around in a limousine, even though we hadn't sold a record. He created a look, made us look like we were stars before we were stars. Brian had took initiative and had our contracts reviewed when we, you know, just weren't making any money. Our managers were driving around in new cars, just basically taking advantage of us financially. We filed the lawsuit, and that was the beginning of the end of our relationship with Lou. And our memories of Lou are, are kind of bittersweet. We'll always have a gratitude to him because he brought us together. When the bank possessed the property, they sold everything in here probably to pay back. I mean, $300 million, I think, he owed, he stole, or was missing. So I'm sure they tried to, to sell and scrape up anything they could. <laughs> what this is all about, showing the perseverance to overcome adversities and to rise above the challenges that have been thrown away. All we're doing is keeping our heads above water and saying, hey, we're not going to let you forget about us. There's still going to be haters, there's still going to be people that want us to be gone, and yet we're still here 20 years later, so obviously we're doing something like that.